Immigrants brought to the United States illegally as children and granted a temporary reprieve by President Obama to remain in the country will be eligible for Nevada driver's licenses. The state will apparently honor employment authorization cards issued to applicants by the Department of Homeland Security. The photo IDs have been issued to other non-citizens in the country legally and have been accepted by the DMV since at least 1999. Governor Brian Sandoval says that he supports the state policy, but at least one Republican lawmaker says the Nevada legislature should consider the question when it meets in early 2013. Thousands of Nevadans will lose jobless benefits at the end of the year unless Congress votes to extend federal assistance. The 25,000 Nevadans currently receiving extended unemployment will be cut off in January, and an additional 1,000 claimants will be dropped each week afterward. Nevada's unemployment program provides up to 26 weeks of benefits. In 2008, at the height of the recession, Congress enacted federal assistance to provide people in hard-hit states like Nevada with up to 99 weeks of jobless benefits. But as the economy improves, the federal extended program has been scaled back, and state officials say it's set to expire at the end of the year. Nevada has the highest jobless rate in the nation at 11.5%. Democratic Secretary of State Ross Miller says he'll sponsor a bill in the upcoming legislature to establish a photo identification requirement to vote in Nevada. Miller says his proposal would require photo ID of registered voters be included in polling books kept by county election officials. Workers would then check the photos on file when someone signs in to vote. Poll workers would take photos of anyone who lacks a photo ID to be included in the records. Miller says the move would quell complaints about voter fraud. He also says it would be less erroneous on the public because voters would only have to show ID once. Miller says a similar proposal in Minnesota failed but had an estimated cost of $20 million. I'm Deanna O'Donnell, that's your news across Nevada.